Hi everyone, I'm FM Greeno, back with some more Euro Truck Simulator 2 for you. I've had to have a little break from the content creation over the last week, a lot going on at Greeno Towers, but I'm back now, hopefully with a bang. So if you like what you see today, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and set your little bell for notifications. So today, we're going to try and get around to more of the Baltic nations. We're trying to pick up all the cities there as we can to get the achievement for that. Let's go and see the job I've got lined up for us today. So, as you can see, we're currently sat in the middle of Latvia, in a city called Valmiera. And we're going to head right to the furthest reaches of this Baltic DLC, down in the south at Kaliningrad. We passed, kind of passed there uh, in an earlier episode, but didn't get close enough to the city to pick it up. So I think from there, we can probably start then making our way back up north again, through these Lithuanian cities, a couple more to pick up around and about, one here in Russia, a few in Estonia, the bulk of them up in Finland. So that's the plan. We'll get down to the bottom of the DLC and start making our way north again, and hopefully pick up as many as we can on the way. Ideally today, we will pick up this one on our way to, I'll set a little marker somewhere in the town, so that we don't actually have to make a delivery there, uh, we'll just pick up that town on the way. Uh, I think we've got 22 out of 35 so far, so this should give us another 2, takes us up to 24, 2 thirds of the way through, that's pretty good progress I reckon. Anyway, we're taking some kerosene today, that sounds safe with the way I drive, <laughs> let's go and get it hooked up. So. As you can see, we have picked up our lorry load of kerosene. We're in a kind of oil refinery place here in deepest, darkest Latvia. And we're about to get underway on our way to Kaliningrad. So, let's go. So we've got a eight hour or eight and a half hour drive to go. We've only got six hours left in the old rest meter. So we are going to have to stop somewhere along the way. Uh, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem finding somewhere to park. It's a little after 5am here. Uh, quite a nice morning to get a drive underway. So I'll get out onto the open road and we'll come back in a little while. Okay, so we are back out on the open road. Fortunately, this is not a job that's going towards any achievement or anything. So obviously a lot of the ones we've done recently, we've had to be really careful about picking up tickets and all that kind of stuff. But this job is just a bog standard job so no worries about that sort of thing so it doesn't matter if I crash into something <laughs> which is always welcome At the Take the first, exit. first exit okay um, yeah so as I mentioned sort of in the intro I've had to take a, a, a little bit of a, a break out of uh, content creation over the last sort of week 10 days uh, I've had a lot going on here at Greeno Towers we had a family bereavement i've had my eldest daughter with covid i've had a lot of work commitments a lot of out of work commitments too a couple of bournemouth games that I, uh, not bournemouth games weymouth games sorry that i've had to do the uh stadium announcing on and stuff so it's been all go so unfortunately it's not been time to to sit down at the computer at all but hopefully things are going to settle down a little bit and we'll get back into more of a routine and bring you all the content that i know you all love so we thought we'd start with a, uh, a Euro Truck Simulator episode. They're always a lot of fun to make. Just get back out on the open road, like I say. Go and charge around the Baltics a little bit. What's not to like, huh? So we're heading down to Kaliningrad. So that's going to take us out of Latvia now. I'm not sure if we are actually leaving Latvia right now or not. But we're heading into Lithuania anyway. And then down into that little Russian enclave in between Lithuania and Poland. Uh, like I say, I do need to stop along the way for a sleep. But I'm going to wait till we get to that little bit of Russia to refuel. As we know, everything in Russia, fuel-wise, is a lot cheaper. I think it's half the price of even the stuff that we get here in the Baltic region. So uh, that'll be good. Save a few quid. Financially, things are going pretty well again, though. We've got the other drivers all... Doing okay. We've got about 120,000 euros in the bank. So it won't be long before we're investing some of that again. Pretty busy looking roundabout coming up here. So yeah, lots going on. Hopefully we'll be able to add another truck. And then we'll be able to think about expanding one of the bases or adding another base again. 
I think we've kind of reached that stage in the game where these things are going to start to come a little bit easier and we can start to focus maybe on, on just uh, some of our own personal achievements rather than worrying too much about making money and that sort of thing because other people are going to be doing that for us. Anyhow, it's coming up to 7am now. Let's keep on trucking. We'll try and get another sort of four, maybe five hours driving in before we need to rest. And then we're off to Russia. So it looks like this is actually the border. We are leaving Latvia, as you can see, and heading into Lithuania. So it's still a very nice morning. Nice and sunny. Quite enjoying this drive. It's quite a nice kind of little uh, environment to be driving through. Plenty of trees around. Nice bit of farmland. Some nice interesting kind of farm buildings as you can see here on the left. So yeah, this is quite a pleasant little drive so far. We are going to be popping into that little town on the way, like I said. Sierleo or whatever it's called. Um, I did set a marker to go in there, so we won't have to make a delivery to that town necessarily at any point. We'll just pick it up towards the achievement just by driving into it. What is this on the roundabout here? It's like some very colourful giant cows or something. <laughs> Have I driven to Milton Keynes by accident? I'm not sure. Um, yeah, so it's uh, I'm enjoying this. It's good fun being sat back at the computer for the first time in a little while. Not doing work at it, anyway. Um, I've been doing a little bit of streaming on Twitch. Uh, I'm streaming some Football Manager. I'll put the details of that up on the screen here. So you can see what that's all about. Uh, I tend to stream on Wednesday and Sunday evenings. If you'd like to uh, drop by and say hi at any point. Stop and let this train go through. Yeah quite enjoy the uh, the streaming side of things as well as YouTube so it's a little bit different a little bit different interaction but yeah really good fun so yeah if you'd like to hop on over and, and see what we're doing we're currently uh, with Curzon Ashton in the National League North in Football Manager which is uh, proving interesting so yeah come on over and say hi is this train gonna come <laughs> it's we just had one go by and it's still waiting Maybe there's one going the other direction. Who knows? Sounds like one coming now. Oh, it's going in the same direction. That sounds nice and safe, doesn't it? <laughs> Two trains, 30 seconds apart, going in the same direction on the same line. Okay. Look out in the newspapers for... <laughs> Lithuanian train crash news. <laughs> so we have just discovered Siolili. I don't need to go quite as far into the town as I had originally planned. So what I'm going to do is pull up the map. I'm going to take that marker off. Because I don't really need to go right into the city. Time to get the job done. And see what it recalculates for me here. Okay, so I can turn left instead of turning right now. And then double back going through this uh, gas station here. Save myself a few minutes of driving. Turn left. There we go. A lot of old bill around here in uh, this part of Lithuania. Get ready to turn right. I'm probably wondering what we're up turn to. Right. <laughs> Don't chase me, Mr. Officer. I'm just turning around. Right, so we did take the opportunity to stop. We've got about four hours left of the drive. And we've woken up, and it is dreadful weather conditions now. Really sort of heavy mist or fog. Lots of rain. Really kind of unpleasant conditions. It's going to get dark soon, too, so... Hopefully it will clear up a little bit by then because driving in the dark when it's this foggy and uh, and rainy is really quite tricky. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, hopefully it's going to get a bit better. But you'll notice how well things are going with my other drivers. I just talked about that a minute ago. Um, while we were asleep, we've got up to almost 160,000 euros. So just in those sort of 9-10 hours since we were together last, 
uh, the other drivers in my team have racked in 40,000 euros between them, so good on them. <laughs> Long may that continue. Okay, it looks like we've hit the Russian border here, and I can't see anything, so I'm going to have to be really careful going through here. We all know how much I can screw these up. So I think the lorry one is down this side. Yeah, you can just about see that little green icon there in the distance. That's where I have to go and get my documents checked. So let's pull up to there and make sure everything is in order. No reason why it shouldn't be, I'm sure. Yeah, but these weather conditions make it really challenging. We just can't see. Everything just sort of turns into a, a grey blob in the distance. So not a lot of fun. Okay. So that's the uh, EU side of the border done. Oh, coming up there on the left-hand side, we're going to have to be careful of a little bit. Are they going to pull off and let us through, or are we going to pull out and let them through? No, they're letting us through. Okay. Fair enough. Another genius AI driver. <laughs> Not a clue what they're up to. Okay, so... There's a bridge, I think, that goes over some kind of river, which we're not going to be able to see because of the awful weather. That's right, there's this kind of little, little castle-y thing on the bridge, isn't there? I remember coming over this one in the other direction. Now, where are we going to get checked on this side? Can't see where I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're turning right, that much we know, because the sat-nav says so, that barrier, oh, there we are, blimey, <laughs> sneak round there, just to speed up a bit, we don't want to be stuck behind all these cars, do we, there we go, jump the queue a little bit, so we'll get our documents checked on this side, and hopefully that should be it. I remember there was a pretty grim-looking ex-Soviet town this side of the border last time I came through. So thankfully, the weather means we're not going to get to see it. <laughs> I think, unless I'm very much mistaken, we've made it through. Did I take a shortcut that I shouldn't have done? Have I gone through the car one? Maybe. Oh well, let's just go. Follow those trucks. So we've got about a couple of hours of the drive to go. It's properly dark now. Um, and of course we're in Russian territory, which means speed limits that nobody can understand. Some towns are 40 kilometers an hour. This one is 60 for some reason. No idea why. <laughs> It's still chucking it down with rain. We've got a proper storm. You'll probably see the occasional flash of lightning popping up. Like that, for example. Which uh, yeah, makes it a little bit hard to concentrate on where you're going. But, yeah, so this last bit is quite challenging, to be honest. It's uh, first half of the drive was quite pleasant, you know. Looking through all the little uh, farmy kind of areas in the Baltic nations. But now we've hit... Uh, Russian territory, and it's dark, and it's rainy, and it's grim. Yeah, it's got a bit of a uh, <laughs> terrifying feel about it. Anyway, not far to go. Only uh, an hour and 45 left. That won't take us long. So, that is City 24 out of 35 towards the uh, Baltic Tourist Achievement. We have hit Kaliningrad. We're not really in the city, to be honest. We're just scooting around the outskirts of it somewhere, but I'll try and take a little bit more of a look around the city if I can before I take my next job, see if there's anything interesting to uh, to report here. It's not a city I know at all, to be honest, apart from the fact it's a bit, bit of a weird, random <laughs> bit of Russia in the middle of nowhere. So as you can see, at least the, uh, the weather has turned for the better a little bit the rain has stopped the fog has cleared so that's made it a little bit easier there's a port here in Kaliningrad is there I wonder if there's a 
carry you can take anywhere then. I don't know. I know we're probably just dropping off at some fuel depot because we've got a big lorry load of kerosene. I don't recall there being a, a ferry route from here, but maybe there is. I'll look out here. Gotta be careful of trains and trams and stuff. They cause all sorts of problems if they hit you. <laughs> right, so we're not far now. Only a couple of minutes away. Third exit on the roundabout. That's okay. Strange markings on the roundabout, though. So presumably you have to stop and let other traffic through. They have priority. That must cause chaos. We are. So we're still heading down to the port. Is this on the right hand side a hotel or a business or something? Maybe it's somewhere you can deliver to, I don't know. Get ready to turn right. Okay, so this is where we're delivering to. Turn right. There we go. Looks like the gate's already open, which is a bonus. Where are we heading then? Can't quite see where we're going. Is that it on the right hand side there, perhaps? Get ready to turn right. Yeah, there we are. So we've got turn to go in right. through this little gate here. You have arrived at your destination. And I wonder what kind of parking job they're gonna give us. I've been trying to practice the parking, obviously, recently. But it's been a while since I've done any driving, so I'm gonna be well out of practice. But let's have a little look at what they want us to do. That doesn't look too bad, does it? Go on, we'll give that a go. Let me head towards it and see if I can work out where the difficulty lies. Oh, if I could get through the gate, mind, wouldn't it? Careful with that kerosene, Greeno. Right, so what's the problem with this then? I think we can just sort of drive in and reverse it back, can't we? See that being too troublesome. Go, yeah, just straighten up and straight back in, I'm assuming. That way, not that way, Greeno. That way, that way, that way. There we go. We have got it. It's not perfect, but I'll take it. 90 XP for that little job. Definitely not as complicated as some I've attempted, that's for sure. So, we got about 20,000 euros for that. A bunch of XP. We're almost up to level 26, which is good. Yeah, next episode, obviously, we will get there, won't we? Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I say it's been good to be back uh, interesting little drive challenging at times but yeah pretty good fun overall if you did enjoy it don't forget to drop a like on there for me and of course if you're new to the channel don't forget to click that little subscribe button and ding your bell for notifications so you don't miss any content coming up so it just remains for me to thank you for watching i will see you soon for some more euro truck simulator 2 action bye for now mm -hmm.